know that the ceasefire motion tonight may not go as far as many people want, but it will mean something so much and the Australian government will hear us if we do it. So if we do do it tonight, and I hope we do, I'm optimistic, we will be doing it because of you, and I hope it is strength to your arm because we all know there is such a long journey. So thank you. congratulate Greens Councillor Sylvie Ellesmere and her colleagues for putting forward this motion. It's really important what they're doing. The Greens are playing a very honourable role in relation to Palestine. So I salute that. Now, we must call on the ALP to just get out from under the US. Get out yeah. from under. Yes, yes, yes. And this terrible Israel is entitled to defend itself. What sort of shit is that? Yeah. They will not be resolved until there's an addressing of the major fundamental issue of the colonization of Palestine. Until there is a country, as in Australia, where decolonization has been implemented and there is equality between the peoples, only then. Can there be any hope of peace? There's no hope without that. If you can't stop the war, if you can't stop the carnage, the genocide, just stop financing it. Yeah. I can see in all of you today that you want an immediate ceasefire and you want it now. Do you know what time it is at the moment in Gaza? It's about getting on 8 a.m. in the morning. I can speak more about the West Bank. I can speak about Ramallah and other parts of the West Bank where I was just before the pandemic hit. But I know this morning in Gaza, all those people who are looking around to see who is there, I know that they're saying, Alhamdulillah, we have survived one more night. This is what we are facing in, in that Gaza Strip. People don't know if they're going to be alive tomorrow. And when I spoke to my friends in Ramallah, they are beginning to say the same thing. They don't know if they're going to be alive tomorrow. The thing that I wanted to talk about um, is the United Nations and the Secretary in General who invoked the Article 99, which hasn't happened since like 1970s. So over 40 years ago. And yesterday to the Security Council at the UN, over 90 countries have brought a ceasefire motion. 